Okay, welcome back to Martian Bean Counter. Today I'm just going to give you a kind of thought. If you ever wanted to have a really decent job with some respect, where the wages aren't horrifically low and your prospects are reasonably good, well, I think today I've discovered why, for me at least, that's never going to happen. Okay, so Saturday morning I received an email. It's an alert email from East Midland Railways. They send these out um, once you've kind of subscribed to their website uh, to let you know when certain positions are coming up. Um, now I'm not desperate for work, but it would be nice to be kind of have access to these things, which is why um, I'll occasionally sign up for these these um, email send out to different people now this is the email that I received it basically states that um, on the 9th of January which is about 36 hours after I received this um, that there will be applications open for the um, position of trainee apprentice train driver uh, in the UK these are very well paid um, as they are across much of the world um, and they're quite sought after so yes there is going to be a lot of competition for them The actual vacancies from the company are not huge amounts, um, they're quite limited, um, and the driver positions are very, very rarely come up. Now, I assume that all the people within the company that are wanting to move up would have first access to this. Fair enough, a lot of companies do this before they actually put it out to the public. That's normally a week, two weeks. Um, as I said, the apprentices that come on at £30,000 a year, you cannot get the license for this job outside the company. It's not like a HTV driver where you, you can pick the license up and take it between companies. It's company specific, always company specific. However, this closed a day before I was able to send the application, which basically means that I had literally would have had to have gone on to, to the emails that night to send in the application for this to be able to be eligible for it. Now, somebody who, who is not part of the company, doesn't know anybody in the industry, and would like to maybe have the option of, of, of changing um, career, um, who probably would have brought a lot to the company, I think it's really unfair that so many of us are pushed out of this industry and don't have access to um, these jobs without... See, I don't want to talk about Nepo babies, I don't want to talk about corruption of the system, but it is does generally just feel like so many of us just aren't allowed access to it purely because we're not a part of <clears throat> their inner circle we're not a part of their company now if this is the case they shouldn't go for the rigmarole of sending these out they should just basically say you know if you if you, this is the route through to becoming a driver or, or some variation on that they shouldn't put this hope out there um, and let so many of us down who, who could do with a career change at some point in their lives that's my rant for now I am a bit annoyed. This isn't just East Midland Railways, this is most of the railway companies that end up doing this. For whatever reason, please stop. Please work with us, otherwise you're not going to have any new talent coming through. That's it for now. <laughs>